What is going on lads? It's Billy the Kid here as always and yet again I've got another Battlefield 3 commentary for you lads today. In this gameplay I was playing Rush Attack on Operation Firestorm. I believe I was using the Assault class with the F2000 with a red dot sight or maybe it's a Cobra sight with a suppressor. I think we have foregrip as well. Not too sure about that. But that's not the uh, point of the commentary. The point of the commentary I wanted to talk today as this particular match was a prime example of the topic I want to talk about. And that is determination, motivation and keeping the momentum on your side in Battlefield 3. Now in this particular match we had a very bad uh, Blueberry team and it seemed like myself and my three friends were the only ones doing really anything. The Blueberry team, or as I like to call them, Forest Gumps, were not really doing much except maybe just standing off at long range with the tanks and just firing random shots. They managed to get the first objective, but then they decided, now let's sit back now and start sniping because we have, well, we have 60 tickets to get the next objective. But during those 60 minutes, very, very few of them actually pushed up. Maybe there was one or two of them that pushed up, and my four uh, myself included squad mates, we were the only ones really doing anything. Now, as you can see, we were just um, on the pipes right across from Bravo, and sure enough, the one of the blueberries managed to get armed, but they must have armed that thing at least six or seven times, but this is the uh, prime example I wanted to talk about. As you can see, we are trying to cover the objective, but some of the blueberries are still not moving up to try and stop them from disarming it, and of course, they do get to disarm. And we were just trying to cover it as much as possible, but sure enough, they managed to get to disarm. Anyway, so the point of the commentary is, how determined are you to win the match? Even with a blueberry team that's very, very bad. Even with, a, even with the worst randoms you've ever met, like they do nothing but snipe from a mile away. What are, how determined are you to win the game? Are you determined to say, okay, I'm going to win this game. I'm not going to care about the blueberries. I'm just going to try. I'm going to try to win it. Maybe I can motivate them to push up. Or are you like, ah, oh, screw this, I'm going to go and find another server. Because I have to say, I'm more or less both of those types of characters. Because right after this match, I'm not going to spoil it for you, but right after this match, we were still in the same server. It was Operation Metro uh, Rush, and we were defending. And it was the first two MCOMs, and they took one pretty... Pretty quickly, the Alpha won within probably two minutes, and we were still having the same bad teammates, and they were arming Bravo. We were managed that Blueberries were actually managing to disarm it, but I got in my head that we were still doing everything. The four, the, the four of us were still the only ones doing anything to try and cover the objectives. That might not have been true to an extent, but I got in my head. Ah, oh, you know what? I'm out here. I'm I not. I'm not having fun. I'm not enjoying myself with this team. Not with my, uh, f not with my uh, four uh, squad mates. They're really good friends of mine. But with the Forest Gumps, I suppose I could say, I was not having fun, and uh, I hopped out because I wasn't gonna stay there for another hundred tickets after they took Bravo to try and secure the next two objectives, to try and defend the next two objectives. So, how determined are you to? defend the objective, to play on with a really bad team. Are you the kind of person that says, the hell with this, I'm out of here, I'm going to try and find a good server with a good PTFO team that doesn't want to sit back and snipe or not do anything to try and defend the objective or take the objective, or are you the more determined person to say, you know what, I'm sticking through this. Maybe we can slap, maybe we can just slap them in the face and say, haha, we still got it, even with the worst team in the world. Because it seemed to me that in this server, the uh, admin was p maybe, maybe I'm not sure, maybe I'm, maybe it's totally untrue, but it looked like the admin was putting all the colonels on his side and giving our team all of the low rankers. Because I've seen that done before in several servers, in several private servers. But hey, it's a private server, so what can you do? That's the uh, that's the problem with private servers. Now, as you can see in the gameplay, I'm just running back to try and get myself a vehicle. Um, but uh, that's the thing. I try and get a tank and as you can see we're slowly starting to run out of tickets and my my determination for going on is starting to ebb at this point because I get in my head right it's 22 tickets we're not going to do it even though my squad mates are saying Billy we can still do this it's 22 tickets I've already got in my head 
no we're not going to do it not with this blueberry team but as you can see now they're starting to push up but it's still very very low tickets 17 tickets now if we get destroyed in this tank I say to myself I'm saying to myself like if we get destroyed now there's no way we're gonna do it there really is no way there you can see I, I'm just really frustrated I'm shooting my blueberry shooting at my blueberry Jeep that was trying to get around me and causing me to uh, stop momentarily and as you can see that we're really starting to take heavy heavy fire and there's actually infantry all around me which was not helping the situation but as you can see Bravo is still up and the jet was after me I'm disabled <laughs> everything was going wrong so it was very very tough to stay focused and stay have a positive mental attitude in playing the game that's another aspect are you are you a positive mental person or are you saying my god we're gonna lose we're gonna lose we're gonna lose when the situation really gets bad because that's more or less what I'm like you know when the situation really gets bad in Battlefield 3 when we're starting to lose tickets when we're starting to lose you know the um, momentum I say it. once you lose momentum lads you can play all you want you'll never get back the enemy has the momentum they're gonna win and that's what's gonna happen now in the next few minutes I see I think I switch it up what do I switch it up with oh yeah I switch it with heavy barrel for the F2000 what is it it's it's seven tickets seven tickets in fact one of my friends dropped out he wasn't in our squad he dropped out saying oh, we're not gonna win so he was like more or less like me like, determination so I say okay seven tickets we all have to push for it now the four of us will push for it it seemed like the enemy was so focused that they were gonna win they dropped back near our spawn sure enough um, Lisa my friend's sister who uh, plays Battlefield 3 managed to arm it well done Lisa well done so uh, we got armed and we were just desperately desperately trying to defend it but I got killed by the biggest camper you've ever seen look where he is <laughs> he's using a 3.4 scope nowhere near the objective even though he's probably got line of sight of the objective he's just sitting on the camps he's just sitting on the uh, camps he's sitting on the uh, pipes well finally I switched it up with a 4 grip F2000 and hey, hey we got it we got the objective and that's when I said okay listen when you get killed I was telling my squad mates when you get killed don't spawn in okay don't spawn in I've got the jet here's what you do here's a little trick when you take the objective and if you get an opportunity like this when you get the jet right after you take the objective so the map is still in the no go area for their part of the map when they're going back to oh wait a second I'm gonna get this camper yeah revenge right there stop camping so then I decided okay I'm gonna come back here don't spawn in yet I'm gonna come back here in the jet jump out of the jet already in their base because you have to remember they're so focused now that oh, okay let's just stay in their base and get as many kills as possible before we fall back that's the wrong thing you should do once they take the first two objectives if you're defending you get your ass back into the next base and defend the objective you don't sit back in their base and get as many kills as possible because look there's only one person here and we get more or less both objectives within a minute which within 60 seconds of the of the actual base being allowed when you know the no go area disappears and you can actually physically advance on the base 60 seconds when you compare it to the near like 15 minutes of just rotten rotten gameplay in which we were the only ones really pushing up bar maybe two or three blueberries or I should say far scumps 60 seconds that's all it took and that's when I said we have the momentum we have the momentum on our side keep pushing forward don't give them a second to dig in and start defending those objectives so I decided okay I'm gonna go far left I'm gonna go up the main road then turn right and try and get alpha armed because right now the enemy team is panicking they're thinking they're saying what the hell is going on we just had this game won we were they were down like seven or six five tickets and they took it and then they've taken two objectives within a minute what's going on so some of them are even still in the original base the very first one and they're thinking what the hell is going on that's all about a momentum that's what it's all about keep the momentum don't give them a second because I've noticed a trend going on with uh, Battlefield 3 in which that exactly happens you lose the momentum when you take the first two objectives say you're an attacker and you say okay let's just regroup take a few minutes for ourselves get geared up pick the right uh, kit etc etc no I say no to that keep attacking don't give them a second to dig in and start 
really defending the objective. As you can see right now, it really is just the three or four of us here. And we're still taking the objective. We're still taking Alpha. Now it's just Bravo. It's the last ticket. The momentum is on our side. Yet yeah, everybody else is still in either the original base or the second base still fighting the enemy. Only a very few you know, enemy uh, teammates. As you can see, the sound glitch is still very apparent. But sadly, we get killed, so we'll have to try again. But that's all about momentum. Keep the momentum on your side. Always keep the momentum on your side. Because I've noticed a trend, like I said, where people take the objective or they lose the objective and they say, okay, let's sit here for a few minutes, gather ourselves, maybe if they're the defender, let's kill a few enemies before falling back or if it's the attacker, let's gather ourselves, make sure they don't C4 our vehicles, steal our vehicles, no. Just attack, just keep the momentum on your side, keep pushing forward or keep pushing back if you're, if you're the defender. The second you lose the objectives, don't, don't sit there. Get back to the next base. Don't even try to sit there because you'll realize really quickly that nobody else is pushing back for the def for the, the objectives if you're defending. It's just you pushing back. I think that's the same guy I got in the jet. The camper with the M60. I think it is. I'm not too sure if it is, but I think it is. But, um, yeah, that's all about momentum. Keep the momentum on your side and you'll get the objectives. You see right here? I think the blueberries caught on to what we were doing. They pushed up and dashed to arm it, and if we finally, finally got the last objective. And we were really surprised that we even got the win on that. I think, hang on a second, if I'm wrong, maybe to do this arm it. Maybe I'm wrong. But, um, there's me just firing a blueberry that I thought was an enemy. But, um, yeah, that's the whole point of this commentary. The momentum. The determination. The motivation to keep going on even when the very very last tickets are there as the old saying goes it's not over to the la to the <laughs> yeah, like I even say it right it's not over till the fat lady sings that's the old saying that I like to use but it's very hard to uh, continue on with the forest gumps that you usually get in random games that evolve into this you know as you can see we are still arming the second objective the, the blueberries are finally ca you know motivated to push on they must have been you know saying oh the game is over it's finally over we didn't push up blah 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 maybe they were saying huh, these randoms are terrible even though they themselves were the, the cause of near defeat so that's just the point of my commentary today lads are you motivated to play or are you determined to ensure victory are you keeping the momentum or do you like to sit back and just take a few minutes for yourself before pushing on let me know in the comment section below what you think of this commentary i hope you liked it i hope you liked the gameplay this is a very uh, close topic i wanted to talk about for a while but i never got the good footage i needed to talk about it but luckily for us i got that footage thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed it as always please check out my channel for more battlefield content I hope you uh, liked the video, the comments, share, like, all that good crack. Lads, this has been Billy the Kid. Bye-bye.